Welcome back everyone to the final day of the semi-final debates. Today we have year sevens debating on the topic of this house believes all schoolwork and resources should be digitalized. In the first round, we have Falcon as the government and Tigers as the opposition. To all you audience members out there, you may submit any POIs that you have in the stream chat and our moderators will do our best to ask your POIs on your behalf. And to all debaters, we want to wish a very good luck to all of you and may the best house win. First off, we'll be starting off with the first speaker for Falcons, the Prime Minister, Tanya. Tanya, may you please turn on your camera? Thank you. All right, your two minutes speaking time begins now. Throughout the journey of the pandemic, I have learned, my teachers have learned, and the school has learned that there is a different and new way for students or teachers to absorb knowledge. A new way that does not require students or teachers to be present in a classroom. Online learning is convenient and easier for students who live far away from school. More importantly, students are able and capable of pursuing their examinations through the computer screen. With online examinations, all these traditional elements continue to persist. However, the mode of test taking has changed. Instead of a physical examination hall, students instead log into an online examination system through which they access the question paper. My first reason is that online learning can be more attention grabbing and engaging. An article produced by Forbes reported that researchers have been collecting data about the effectiveness of online learning or distance learning. Studies conducted by California State University have found out that out of two groups of children, one group studied online and the other went to class and received the same instructions from the same teacher and fared, fared equally in performance. Nevertheless, the data collected by the university showed one minor difference between groups. Online students were less intimidated about participating in lessons and there were more interaction between student and teacher. Besides, the article states that the material used in classes were more attention grabbing and were more attention grabbing and were better suited to today's students. Students also learn more than they do in traditional courses. IBM, also known as the International Business Machines Corporation, found out that students learn five times more material in online lessons using multimedia content than traditional lessons. Unfortunately, your two, speaking, two minute speaking time has elapsed and we will now move on to one minute of your eye time. And that time begins now. Doesn't online learning make it easier for students to cheat on their exams? What do you say about well, this? there's this website called um, this website that enables students to take an exam. However, if students leave that website or the page, the teachers will be notified of their absence and they will be they will be um, reported to the principal. Would you say there have been more interactions in your online lessons compared to lessons in the classroom since you've been online learning? Yes because um, my teacher talks more and we communicate more because you are not really afraid of talking in front of your friends. What about students who cannot motivate themselves to learn online? What do we do about them? Well, some teachers have um, multimedia content like PowerPoints or engaging um, presentations with, uh, which allow the students to make online lessons fun. Unfortunately, your one minute of your eye times has elapsed and we shall now move on to the second speaker of the first round from Tigers. We have the leader of opposition, Shashini. Could you please turn on your camera? All right. And your two minutes speaking time begins now. Hello to the members of the government, my opposition members and the judges. The motion before us today is the government believes all schoolwork and resources should be digitized. We, the opposition, strongly oppose the case presented by the Prime Minister and will prove today that this motion must not be accepted. Let me take this opportunity to rebut the points raised by the Prime Minister. 
The point put forth by the Prime Minister is very general and doesn't necessarily reflect all students who do schoolwork digitally. Surely digitizing schoolwork doesn't allow the teacher to measure the ability of students on their learning. Assumptions still have to be made that everyone is listening. It is also known that at times teachers have to be creative to keep students engaged in class. The mere sight of slide doesn't often, often justify or give chances for the students to become more engaged. And it is obvious that many other distractions, such as texting in class, can quickly make students lose their focus. Let me now move on to my point, which focuses on the economic factors that will impact the students and their families if this motion is implemented. Society in a whole is not the same. The government needs to be aware that by forcing students to go fully digital in schoolwork would create a huge difficulty for some families. Families who depend on the public education system will now be pressured to fork out additional expenditure to support this initiative. A report published by UNICEF in August 2020 stated that, that an estimated 463 million school children worldwide lack the equipment to allow them to pursue digitized learning. The opposition is not against progress, but are definitely concerned that this policy is not well thought of and that the economic impact has not been considered well enough. This, in my opinion, is an important reason on why the efforts of the government to go fully digital in schoolwork will not be productive for the students. In summary, let me emphasize the opposition is not in any way against the use of technology or digital learning in school, but against the government's current effort to fully digitize schoolwork. For all these reasons, the motion and the government believes schoolwork and resources should be digitized must fall. Thank you. Thank you, debater. We will now move on to your one minute of POI time, and that time begins now. Does online learning not prepare our students for using modern technology in their future careers? It does, but at the same time, it takes away other things that they need to learn in the future. Isn't it cheaper to learn online than to go to school physically? Paying for devices can cost a lot more than our regular school fees. It costs even more to fix devices. But to go to school physically, you need to pay for transport, food and textbooks, no? Yeah, but things like textbooks can be maintained longer. Don't you think doing online learning, online using online resources makes life for students much more easier? Yes, but it might not be as effective. Textbooks can make sure that the students are focused. Unfortunately, your three minutes of speaking time is now up. And we'll now move on to the Deputy Prime Minister from Falcons, Sujira. Could you please turn on your camera? Thank you. And your two minutes speaking time begins now. In the future, we will strongly depend on technology in our day-to-day -day life as the future is computer. Starting from March this year, students have been learning how to use Microsoft Teams for their studies. It has not been easy, but it is safe to say that students have really improved their understanding of Microsoft Teams. Once physical school has started, there was a small use of Microsoft Teams even in school. So why don't we just stop using books and take it fully online? Our, from sources like Pan Education suggest that it improves students' confidence level as it shows students that they will not that they will learn that their educations and statements will not affect or disturb the learning of other students. It will make it will also make students more comfortable around cameras. Online and digital learning also helps students remember things faster, clearer, and easier. This is clearly easier and faster for the students. Fortunately for teachers as well, materials are reusable, which will make learning easier. Which brings me back to my point that it is safer than using books, which are easily lost. Whereas laptops aren't, where else? Students will know whether their laptops are in their bag or not because obviously there is a weight difference and if the laptop isn't in the student bag, they will know and take effort to check whether it is there. And if it isn't, they will take the effort to look for it. Whereas if the same thing happened to their books, they will look for it, but if they can't find it, they won't make such a big deal of, out of it. They may just buy a new one. One major thing that will help parents especially is the money used for student textbooks. Uniforms and books cost a lot of money. Paying for 
them are a lot more expensive as you need to buy them almost every year, whereas laptops can be reused. Thank you. Your two minutes speaking time has now elapsed. We'll now move on to one minute of POIs starting now. How would you conduct practical experiments uh, in science, for example, with online learning? Um, we can still go to school and use the book, uh, use like the things for experiments, but we don't need to actually use books in general. Don't you think it's easier to read long passages of text in, in books rather than on the screen all the time? It is true that it is, but it is also um, is, um, cheaper and more affordable. Surely you'll pay for online textbooks, right? So same as physical textbooks. You can pay for it, but more, um, they can be reused and shared between students easier. Thank you. Unfortunately, your three minutes have elapsed. We'll now move on to the second speaker of the day from Tigers, the Deputy Opposition Leader of Opposition. We have Alexandra. Hi, can you hear me? Yep. Yeah. Okay. okay. So your two minutes of speaking time begins now. Hello, my name is Alexandra and I'm the Deputy OL. I will now introduce my points. I think that textbooks are more beneficial than using websites and e-textbooks. Why? Because it means that you will not have to look at the screen and it is more reliable. Textbooks contain information that stays there for a long period of time, but on the other hand, information on websites could change every hour. Textbooks have been used since the 19th century and Google has only been released on the 21st century, which proves textbooks' reliability. E-textbooks are impractical to a large number of students around the world due to access restrictions, heavy printing, and sometimes they cost more than traditional textbooks. Textbooks can be found in bookstores, shops, anywhere, but in order to access e-textbooks and websites, you will need devices. As the OL said, it costs money, which adds to my point of textbooks being more reliable and affordable. In school, it is much easier to use textbooks because it is faster than turning on a device just to search for an answer. It's not only faster, but also encourages the pupil to read. Traditional textbooks can also be carried around and it doesn't need to be charged or need internet connection like e-textbooks. In conclusion, textbooks are more educational, reliable, affordable, and easier to manage. Thank you. Thank you, Deputy Opposition Leader. Since you ended your speech early, we'll now allow 15 seconds for any audience members and judges to submit their POIs. All right, seeing that your speaking time has uh, ended early, we will now move on to one minute of POIs starting now. Physical textbooks can become outdated, whereas online textbooks can be continuously updated. What do you think about this? What, can you repeat? I couldn't hear you. Physical textbooks can become outdated, whereas electronic textbooks can be continuously updated so that the students can use them in the future even more. What do you think about this? But won't the information change? That is the whole point, right? Because they're getting continuously updated. New syllabus. But devices system. don't last as long. What about times like COVID right now? Wouldn't electronic textbooks be more reliable and would be easily shared around? Unfortunately, your one minute of pure eyes has elapsed. And we'll now move on to the third speaker from Falcons, the member of government, Clement. Uh, hi. Uh, in the 21st century... Uh, excuse oh. me, so sorry. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, let, sorry. Let me start with him first. Thank you. All right, and your two minutes of speaking time begins now. 
In the 21st century, technology is rapidly evolving day by day with breakthroughs hap happening almost every month. Technology is making our daily lives easier. Digitizing schools will also mean the same thing, making things easier for students, teachers, and parents. The advantages of digitizing schools are that, first of all, it will make schools less expensive as parents won't need to buy books as they'll be on the computer for free. Another advantage, advantage of digitizing schools is that when a textbook or I mean, is that when a student is sick, they can learn from home. Tests and assignments will, be also, will also be easier to access to students. This will, be, this will also be better for the environment as there will be no need for, uh, for paper books. Bags will also be lighter, reducing the chances of aches and pain. Even if the parent can't buy a laptop, they can loan them from the school. IBM also found that learning also makes on, online learning made students work faster and more efficiently. Digital learning tools also allow easier research by students and the ability for educators to share things with students instantaneously. Thank you. Thank you. Seeing that you ended your speech early, we will now allow 15 extra seconds for the judges and any audience members to submit their POIs. All right, seeing that your speaking time has almost elapsed, we will now move on to your one minute of POIs. And that time begins now. What about times like now? How would the school lend a laptop to students during a pandemic like COVID? Um, you may not need a laptop as you can also use phones and write uh, your notes on papers. You said that students can learn at home for free. What about the cost of internet, electricity, and ebooks? Um, electricity, I don't think that would change much as you're using a, a phone which is charged and used very low voltage. Do you feel using your phone is a suitable device for online learning? Um, yes. Seeing that your one minute of pure eyes has elapsed, we'll now move on to the third speaker from Tigers, the member of opposition, Jaden. Could you turn on your camera, please? Thank you. And your two minutes of speaking time begins now, um, ex so sorry, but you're muted. You're muted. Hi, um, can you say something to test the audio? Uh, can you hear me now? Yep, okay, all right. Um, we'll restart the timer and your two minutes of speaking time begins now. Good evening, everyone who is present. My name is Jaden, and I'm the member of opposition. Before I start, I would like to refute the, the member of government speech. Even though he said online learning may be cheaper, parents still need to pay for school fees, which, which is used to pay staff money. And how about electricity and so on? Now on to my speech. The, oppo the opposition le leader has mentioned Digitizing schoolwork and resources can have huge negative impacts on families' financial state. However, another concerning issue coming from this motion is the student's health. Now, let me continue with my point, which focuses on the damage that can be done to students' health if schoolwork is digitized. We can all agree that health is important in our lives. Don't you think that if we look at screens all day, our eyes will suffer severe damage? Eyesight is one of our most reliable senses, and without this, our lives would change a lot. Considering, considering that schoolwork digitally requires students to sit in front of bright screens for long amounts of time, our eyes could be severely damaged. As per the AHA's recommendation, children should only receive two hours of screen time a day. If we do not follow this, children could have their futures affected really badly. Overall, in terms of relationship between screen usage and both physical and mental outcomes, there have been several studies that suggest higher levels, higher levels of screen usage in children 
and adolescents, adolescents in associated with lower, well, lower well-being. This is why I feel like the government's plan to go fully digital in schoolwork will not be good for the children. Thank you. Thank you. Seeing that your speaking time has still a bit left, we'll now allow this extra time for any judges and audience members to submit their POIs. All right, seeing that your speaking time has elapsed, we'll now move on to your one minute of POIs starting now. Will staff be paid less because they're working online? Um, in my beliefs, no, because, because they still have to pay for devices and, and um, electricity and like a lot of things, like water bills, because we're just we're, like staying at home for the whole day. Are there methods to prevent eyesight damage, like blue light glasses or blue light filters on computers? It may, it will prevent it, but it won't stop it completely. Like, you might still suffer some eye damage by looking at the screen for eight hours a day. What will become of the cleaners that clean the school? Um, that is a major problem. Unfortunately, your one minute of pure eyes has elapsed. And you'll now move on to the third member of Tigers, member of opposition. Uh, whoops, sorry. Um, we'll now move on to the final member from Falcons, the government whip, Hui Sin. Could you please turn on your camera? My camera oh. is on. Thank you. And your two minutes of speaking time begins now. First and foremost, I would like to state that Tembi International School is a school that strongly believes in eco-friendliness and improving the environmental health. She out of the gate, an online examination system cuts down the negative impact of using physical pens and paper. It is discovered and proven that an average examination contains 15 sheets of paper. Tembi International School alone has around, around 700 people. And if each student were to have an exam just one year, the school will be using 10,500 sheets of paper just on exam alone. But that is simply not true because each student in each year studies a minimum of five subjects. And with each subject having one exam every single year, there will be a total of 52,500 sheets of paper spent on taking exams. In other words, 52,500 sheets of paper is equivalent to chopping down eight trees. To summarize what I've just said, the school is sacrificing the lives of eight trees every single year. So just so that students will be able to take their examination physically. In conclusion, after analyzing all the benefits that my teammates have voiced out, it is crucial for us as a school and as a learning platform to reposition ourselves from a physical assignment, assignment to online tasks and virtual exams. This will empower our school to move forward from a traditional school system to a more efficient and eco-friendly school. Ultimately, the point of this whole debate competition is to improve our learning system and boost our student learning ability. It is right for one of the best international schools in Malaysia to enhance the digital learning platform as we continue to pr improve the standards of students in Tembi International School. I hope we can make a Tembi a better school as a whole with better students, better teachers and a better education system. Thank you. Thank you. Seeing that your speaking time has almost elapsed, we will now move on to one minute of your eyes. And that time begins now. You said that there were 50 sheets of paper needed for an exam. Can uh, you provide a source? Oh, usually in every school, there's like at least exam are around from 15 sheets. So. Can't papers be reused and recycled? Yeah, but once you have broken in like pens and stuff, it will be really hard to recycle them. Can I clarify, did you say 50 sheets of paper or 15? 15. Mm -hmm. 
Wouldn't it be easier for students to cheat on online exams? How do you prevent this? Yeah, in some schools like Harvard, they have this education system where they will like teachers will have exactly what they need to show like if the students will be cheating or having any like searching any answers online. Unfortunately, your one minute of your eyes has elapsed and we will now move on to the final speaker of the first debate. We have the opposition whip from Tigers, Ayn. Hi, can you see me? Um, yep, all right. And your two minutes of speaking time begins now. In conclusion, the advantages and disadvantages to everything. She says schoolwork has more disadvantages in my opinion, and I say that because it is just not beneficial. It is tiring, time consuming, and healthy. Yes, it keeps you saying, but how can you learn then? Only 33% of students in work online learning. It is to concentrate and it is to keep to sleep. I'm convinced on this because I don't know the structure of school. I don't think that it's easy to concentrate with resting parents standing around the house and making a lot of noise. This makes me trip from the stairs of digitized schoolwork and with it still around and going, all I have is list of distractions. Participation is key. Not all students are learning they feel free to skip it. It is difficult to miss. And to skip normal school. Place where students are late or not participating at all. When students cannot come to class, it can disrupt close lecture or discussion, distract others, keep learning, and generally the role class model. This will make all their lives better on the PC. Please suggest continue, for example, drama, art, DT, PE, and many others. Imagine the teachers thinking of so hard what to do for these classes and students refuse to participate. This really affects the students' participation, cooperation, and this not only affects the teachers, but also affects how much the students are learning. I'm not sure how disruptive digital school is and how much it affects the students' learning. This school will never help and does not help any and never will. Thank you. That's all I have to say for today. Um, thank you for your speech, seeing that your two minutes of speaking time has now elapsed, we'll now move on to one minute of POIs starting now. Sorry. I'm sorry, I'm not hearing anything. Hasn't technology advanced far enough to make learning online reliable? But kids can't catch up with this new technology. Unfortunately, your three minutes have now elapsed. We would like to thank all the debaters from both Falcons and Tigers for giving such exciting and high quality speeches. Thank you to the audience members for spending our time with us. And the next round of debate between Phoenix as government and Dragons as opposition will begin shortly in just a few minutes. Stick around and we look forward to seeing you then.
Welcome back. This time we have the second round of the year seven debates, still on the topic of this house believes all schoolwork and resources should be digitalized. This time we have Phoenix as the government versus Dragons as opposition. To all audience members, remember that you can submit your POIs in the stream chat and our moderators will do our best to ensure that your POI gets asked. And to all the debaters, we want to wish you the very best of luck and may the best house win. First off, we have the Prime Minister from Phoenix, Ariana. All right, your two minutes of speaking time begins now. We, the affirmative team, define the topic as changing traditional face-to-face -face learning to classes being conducted online and resources being made digitally available. We strongly support this statement. As the first speaker, I will be talking to you about the flexibility of studying online. The online learning environment can be more stimulating and fun. Teachers have a wide range of teaching tools to use. Padlet, Nearport, just to name a few. These tools allow students to share content and knowledge in ways most comfortable for them. In addition to that, it is easier for teachers to work with different learner types, divide a single virtual classroom into breakout groups, and let students of different levels work at their own pace, while the teacher moderates and facilitates these groups. Statista reported a finding that 81% of US college students agreed that digital learning technology has helped them improve their grades. Furthermore, with online learning, classes are recorded, including audio, video, and even the shared screen. Students can review the teacher's exact explanations and method when in doubt or when during revision. In addition, administrators can review both the instructor's and the student's performance. Therefore, constructive feedback can be given to both the teacher and students. Any student who calls in sick will not miss a day's lesson because the recording will be available for him or her to view at their convenience. Shift, a research company, has reported that e-learning increases retention rate by 25% to 60%. In conclusion, the advantages of switching to digital learning far outweighs the traditional mode of teaching and learning. Thank you. Thank you, debater. We will now move on to your one minute of your eye, seeing that your speaking time has almost elapsed. And that one minute begins now. There is specific evidence that online learning increases the grades of students. As I have said before, Statista reported a finding that 81% of US college students agreed that digital learning technology has helped them improve their grades. Are college students enough to back your points? What about primary students, secondary students? In general, SHIFT, a research company, has reported that e-learning increases retention rate by 25% to 60%. Plus, this online learning will help with different learner types. Therefore, it will help with all ages. Thank you. Unfortunately, your three minutes have elapsed. I will now move on to the leader of opposition from Dragons, Sean. All right, thank you. And your two minutes of speaking time begins now. Good afternoon, fellow judges and friends. My name is Sean. I'm the leader of the opposition. I'm the leader of the opposition. Thank you for starting your point, but I strongly disagree with my opponent on why schoolwork should be digitized. Here are my opposing views. First, while teachers are expected to integrate technology into classroom, the actual reality can be very different. Teachers and students may struggle with disruption of the devices like internet lagging and line cutting off from time to time. This can cause a lot of delays to teachers in delivering their lessons, thus not being able to finish their syllabus on time. Next, we need to understand and accept that not everybody has technology at home. Some households may be able to afford more than one, more than two devices, while some can only afford one. 
what is going to happen to these families who have more than two kids, yet they cannot afford to have two devices at home. They will have to wait for their turn to do their work, thus taking up more time and delay the process for the child's learning. Moving forward, I would like to point out that not all schools have sufficient technical support and infrastructure for the students. Example, internet speed to support digital learning. This again can cause delay in teachers delivering their lessons and stress to the students' learning. In summary, while there are some merits to digitize schoolwork, not all schoolwork should be digitized. Thank you. Thank you, Debrader. Seeing that you have ended your speech early, we'll now use this excess time to allow the judges and any audience members to submit their POIs. All right, seeing that your two minutes of speaking time has ended early, we'll now move on to your one minute of POIs, and that time starts now. Why can't students use online resources in school? It doesn't have to be only at home, right? Um, it, is, uh, it is easier to research online than look through books in school. So are you saying that schoolwork should be digitized since it's more efficient to research online? Yeah. Aren't you arguing against that? Unfortunately, your one minute of POI has now elapsed. It will now move on to the second speaker from Phoenix. We have the Deputy Prime Minister, yeah. Good afternoon. Um, the first... Sorry, I could... Okay. Yeah, let me start the timer first, please. Thank you. Your two minutes speaking time begins now. Good afternoon. The first speaker from the opposition has stated that since um, people may not have enough money to buy the devices, uh, siblings might have to share and therefore they may not have time to finish the work. However, online schooling can be accessed at any time. Therefore, a schedule can be formed and both children can finish their work. Now, I would like to introduce the next point for the affirmative team. My point is, online learning will be more accessible and cheap compared to physical face-to-face -face learning. The reason for this is, when education is online, students can access the course and resources from any location. In a virtual classroom, it is easier to involve multiple teachers and to bring in guest speakers from anywhere in the world. They are not limited by physical and distance constraints. In addition, through online learning, educational material are endless. Students are able to access a variety of resources that may not be accessible physically. Through digital platforms, you can find a wide range of information and expand your knowledge beyond textbooks. Consequently, this will certainly increase the learning and knowledge opportunities for the students. Moreover, these resources can be accessed without a limitation in time. There is no need to worry about the closing time of your science lab or library, as online resources can be accessed at any time of the day. Not only that, online learning is undoubtedly much cheaper than physical face-to-face -face learning. Students can attend classes without the need to pay for commuting, building maintenance, textbooks, exercise books, and uniforms. Through online learning, you can receive high-quality education for a cheap price. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Seeing that you have ended your speech early, we'll now use this time to let the judges and any audience members submit their POIs. Seeing that your speaking time has now elapsed, we will now move on to your one minute of POIs, and that time starts now. If students can teach themselves online at any time, is there a need for teachers anymore? Yes, because teachers are there to guide the students. 
and also the students can't create these like learning activities by themselves. How can students ask questions during a live lesson? Surely this is a disadvantage compared to normal classroom lessons. Teams has this function, which is the raise hand button, and therefore students can take turns to ask questions to the teacher. Wouldn't online learning impact students' mental health if they're learning throughout day and night? They are not necessarily learning throughout day and night because like school has a specific time as if they have finished their learning and their homework, then there is no need to stay on the digital devices. Thank you. Unfortunately, your three minutes have now elapsed. We will now move on to the second speaker from Dragons, the Deputy Opposition Leader, Tamitira. Hi there. Your two minute speaking time begins now. Hello, my name is Tamitira. I am the Deputy OL. Despite what you have said, I strongly believe otherwise. My first point, with full technology in place, students may also have difficulty writing on the small screens over an extended period, leading to straining and causing damage to their eyes. This will lead to mental health problem and encouraging less interaction with friends and teachers. Students tend to lose the ability to communicate in social situations, which may cause misunderstanding between each other. Secondly, having school digitalized will mean having a limited amount of resources used. Kinetic learning will also be a very good experience for students but digitalizing school will stop this from happening. Students will lose their little motor skills they have too. Science experiments will no longer be done and maybe a student's interest will vanish too. Lessons become tedious and no longer catch students' attention, which will affect their learning pace. Next, teachers usually have a variety of websites and learning platforms. Students will have to log in to join the lesson. Usually this requires logins and passwords, which can be very tricky with younger groups of children. As a student experiencing the online learning during this pandemic, I have come across this situation many times. Majority of the students are unable to log into the site or may not know how to. Students also have a tendency to forget their passwords, leading to more waste of time of the lessons. However, if all students have the same passwords, a few students start to enter other people's account and mess around with their tasks and overall just invade their privacy. I strongly believe that schools should not be digitalized. Thank you. Thank you. Seeing that you ended your speech early, we'll now use this remaining time to allow the judges and audience members to submit any POIs they may have. All right. Seeing that your two minutes of speaking time is um, has almost elapsed, we'll now move on to your one minute of POIs, and that time starts now. Don't blue light light don't blue doesn't blue light glasses help with eye damage? Yes, but then other parts of your body still get hurt in when you're doing online learning. Do you have any other evidence than personal experience to support your points? No, not really. Why would students need to enter other students' accounts for learning resources when they can just get it directly from the teacher? Sometimes they think it's fun to go into other people's account and mess about there instead of just, they do, usually don't do it just for learning. Working channel groups on Teams that still support students to communicate and in groups, how else is communication affected? Sometimes students may hear wrong information from others and which leads to a lot of arguments online. Unfortunately, your speaking time has now elapsed and we will now move on to the third speaker from government, the Phoenix member of government, we have Ali. Hello. Hi. All right. Your two minutes of speaking time begins now. Today I will be talking to you about the effects of online learning. Nowadays, people are trying to digitalize the economy more and make everything more electronic. This means we must be more computer smart. By 2022, 60% of 
global GDP will be digitalized. We can start practicing the future economy by adapting to its electronic nature. We can do this by practicing learning through digital resources to be more prepared for the digital future. My next point about self-discipline studies. Who says that having to be more self-disciplined is a disadvantage? It is true that studying online requires more self motivation and time management skills because you will spend a lot of time on your own without someone physically close to close to you focused on deadlines. However, this helps a person develop their own sense of independence and responsibility and helps and helps you become more self motivated. These things that will look great on your CV. A 2009 meta study from the Department of Education shows that online schooling outperforms students it seems like he has been frozen schedule the necessary therefore we switch to online class because it will help students develop their own sense of independence responsibility perseverance which are skills essential to us our lives thank you unfortunately your two minutes of speaking time has now a lot seeing that hmm. seeing that your connection cut off whilst you were speaking we'll grant you another two minutes to read your speech again oh i got disconnected okay. yeah you were frozen oh yeah oh okay, okay See? sorry Seeing that that's the case, your two minutes of speaking time shall begin now. Um, you may see today. I will be talking to you about the effect of to digitalize the economy and make and make everything electronic. This means we should we must be more computer smart. By 2020, by by 2022, 60 percent of global GDP will be digitalized for the future economy by adapting to its own electronic nature. We can do this by practicing learning through digital resources to be more prepared for the digital future. My next point is about the self-discipline studies. Who says that self-discipline is a Studying online requires more self-motivation and time management skills. Because you spend a lot of time physically close to focus on the deadlines, However, this helps a person develop their own sense of independence, responsibility, and helps you become more self-motivated. These things will that will look great on your CV. A 2009 meta study from the Department of Education showed that online schooling outperforms students from traditional schooling, as they are given their own timing and independence for their own education. In online and complete Feedback is generated through online polls and immediate results so that further class learning is shared accordingly. Personal one-to-one -to -one feedback session with the teacher can be scheduled if necessary. Therefore, we should switch to online learning because it will help students develop their own sense of independence, responsibility, and perseverance, which are skills essential throughout their, our lives. Yes. Thank you. Seeing that your two minutes of speaking time has almost elapsed, we'll now move on to one minute of POIs. And that time, yep. Okay, yeah, sure. Okay. All right, um, seeing that your two minutes of speaking time has now elapsed. Your one minute of POIs begins now. Is money the most important thing in the world? 
What about the physical and mental health of students? Well, there are many websites on on Google and online to tell to help people with uh, with mental health with mental problems. And uh, these websites are more better than going to school itself. Are you saying independence is more important than cooperation? Well, independence can help you in the future. So in the future, you will be you will prepare for the future. You'll be more independent, like how you'll be in the future. How will teachers have time to do personal feedback sessions when they, they teach hundreds of students? They might also use online polls, like 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 there can be online um, uh, feedbacks, stuff bots that will give you online feedback that can help the teachers. Unfortunately, your three minutes have now elapsed. And we will now move on to the third member from Dragons, the member of opposition, Tijash. Hello? Hi. All right. Your two minutes of speaking time begins now. Okay. Greetings. My name is Deja. I'm the member of opposition. And no matter all the reasons that you've given us, our goal and reasoning may be just as good. Starting off, the motivation of students will drop slowly but surely, and it will encourage them to become lazy. The students have no interest for the class if it's too boring or they feel like it's a waste of time considering all these issues with their devices or their teachers. I can understand how many classes the teachers have lessons to prepare for, but if the student doesn't learn or take interest, it is all for nothing. I would also like to point out that children may lose touch with their handwriting skills, and they might also learn to hate written work and favor typing more. There would be no need for all those years of previous primary students to have spent money on multiple handwriting books just to waste lovely handwriting onto digital typing. On top of that, digital schoolwork makes it a lot easier for students to cheat by using the shortcut called copy and paste, usually not relevant because they do not proofread their work. We know this, we know that this is something that students do at their own will, but sometimes they feel pressurized by their teacher the rest of the class and mostly by their parents to get good grades. Those are my arguments and thank you for your time. Thank you. Seeing that your speaking time has almost elapsed, we will begin your one minute of pure eyes once that time has elapsed. All right, seeing that your two minutes of speaking time has now elapsed, We'll open up the floor to any and all your eyes for the duration of one minute. And that time begins now. Don't students still write on still write notes on paper while they're online learning? I agree with this, but it, it can also be messy. Like half of your schoolwork would be on your computer and half would be on your notebook. And when we do return to school, it will be really hard to find all this work. Surely students may lose motivation in a normal classroom as much as they do in a virtual classroom. Yes, they might, but they also have their friends and teachers to support them and bring them throughout the class. What is your evidence that students don't proofread? A lot of my personal experience, teachers have noticed that students just take it from Wikipedia, and they don't proofread their work. Unfortunately, your three minutes have now elapsed. You will now move on to the final speaker from Phoenix, the government whip, Yi Chin. Um, can you all hear me? Yep, all right. And your two minutes of speaking time begins now. 
The future of our environment is frightening as trees are chopped down to make paper. If our books are digitalized, then we will not have to make hundreds of textbooks and exercise books only for it to be in the trash the next. By digitalizing our books and resources, we wouldn't be contributing to deforestation and the deadly change of mother nature. It is also extremely easy for students to lose a piece of paper or leave a book at home. Even so, paper books are extremely heavy. Carrying 10 books a day can cause back problems at a young age. School textbooks are also really limited compared with the information online. The flexibility of online schooling gives students a chance to explore and gain more experience. Students tend to think that only grades determine your future, but this is not the case. Yes, grades and information are important, but learning needs to be balanced with experience too. But how can they do so with the non-flexible timing of traditional schooling? Online schooling provides a more flexible timing so that students are given a chance to have other commitments such as working or caring for their family. But what happens when traditional schooling is over? Would the students stay dependent on the teachers for encouragement and always be excused? Online schooling demands more self-motivation and discipline than regular schooling does. Most students tend to procrastinate when given such an opportunity, but I can assure you that sometimes giving them their own independence tend to lead to success. It is better for students to learn and find their own way through schooling to show the importance of independence, self-motivation, time management skills, and so much more. Yes, online schooling does ask for more, but these are the things that shape a student and make them more aware of things around. And as for my rebuttal, the third speaker had said that, that, base, that it would be a waste if we had just changed into typing. But with the development of our future, it would be better to it would be better for us to use computers and type because these are the things that, that prepares a, a student for their future. Writing doesn't prepare them anymore, but typing does. And the faster they get used to it, the better. And as for... As for and unfortunately, your two minutes of speaking time has now elapsed. We'll now open up the floor to one minute of POIs and that time begins now. Online schooling has the same timetable as physical schools. How is it more flexible? Yes, in our school, that's the case. But in some cases, there, there's such thing called online courses, where they take these courses that, that can be taken at any time of the day and can be accessed at any time of the day. Yes, this may be our way, but this is not the worldwide way. Would you say more students procrastinate less online compared to classroom learning? I would say that in online, in classroom learning, in physical learning, students, teachers encourage their student. But what happens when, when school is over and they're forced to work? There aren't going to be anyone to force them to do their work. And if we switch to online learning, that this they can, they can, they can improve their time management skills and not procrastinate as much. So I say that online schooling does give this benefit. Thank you. That your one minute of pure eyes has now elapsed. We'll now move on to the final speaker of the day and the final speaker for the semi-final debate. And that is the opposition whip from Dragons, Isabel. Uh, hello, can you hear me? Yep, we can hear you. And your two minutes of speaking time begins now. Hello, my name is Isabel. Isabel and I'm the opposition. We strongly believe that school should not be digitalized because it will lead to many disadvantages such as procrastination and more and more work than usual. Students can easily start procrastinating because of lack of pressure and that is put on them to complete their work. Students keep the task and prefer to finish it last minute. I have seen examples of students delaying work to the last minute because of forgetfulness or maybe just not having the motivation to do it. They lack of motivation because they are traumatized at the amount of work given by the teacher. Digitizing schools usual means more work that must be completed. It also creates lot of, uh, a lot of mental stress. During this time of crisis, schools are forced to use technology to interact with their students. Doing this will cause problems with the curriculum, as most students don't have the resources to do most projects at home. During these lessons, students will lose their train of thought, and instead of listening to the teacher, they will browse into other things. Then there's the habit of typing. Students will lose their writing skills if not used daily. There are many downsides of digitalizing schools. Students will suffer both mental and physical illnesses, leading to an impact on their health. 
Having a school digitalized will also mean that a student's work will have an impression where no own effort is putting in. Sometimes some students even plagiarize work from the internet or, or, or other students. It also affects the amount of money spent on online learning. More costs on electricity bills and even buying new devices where some families can't afford. Connections between the teacher and, white and students will also lack seeing the distance and amount of people using Wi-Fi at the same time, delaying all work. So in conclusion, we as an opposition team strongly disagree that learning should be digitized. Thank you. Thank you. Seeing that your two minutes of speaking time has now elapsed, we'll now move on to the final minute of your eyes. And that time begins now. Can you provide anything, any evidence beyond personal experience, such as statistics or numbers? Um, some students, right? Um, um, they will, they will just ask other students, like their friends, to let them copy their own their their homework. Lots of people procrastinate, parents and teachers as well. Yet many students still complete their work. Would you say procrastination is as detrimental as you suggest it to be? Um, I'm not really sure about this. Do you have any evidence of students being traumatized by working online? Um, yes, because because right, um, sometimes. Unfortunately, your one minute of your eyes has now elapsed. And that concludes our final semifinals debate and the year seven debate for the week. We want to thank all our participants for taking part in this year's debate competition. The level and quality of speeches has never been higher and our judges have had so much fun listening to all your speeches. And we would like to thank all of the audience members for your continued patience and support and for providing so many interesting POIs and raising the interest of the debate to new levels. Overall, we want to thank everybody, including our judges, for spending so much time on the debate. And for the year eight and year seven results, those will be released soon. And that concludes our final semifinals debate. Next week, we have the year 11's debating on the topic of this house believes that knowledge derived from reason is more important than knowledge derived from experience. So make sure to tune in to that if you want to hear an exciting finals debate. Lastly, overall, we just want to thank everyone for your continued patience, support, and we hope to see you again next week. Thank you.